bastards. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, look at their bushy eyes and big tails. So good! Come on down, you little couch chewer. Ah, this one looks gross. It's like mangy. Got you. Nighty night. Tell your buddies, couch is a no-no. So, are rodents like squirrels and chipmunks pests? Well, that depends. Context is super important, and it seems to be a forgotten skill these days, as we have become a nation, and a world for that matter, of headline readers. Are squirrels a pest for someone living in an apartment in New York City? Probably not. Are they a pest for me? Hell yeah, they are, and here's how I deal with them. Whether you like it or not, urban areas require human intervention on species like the chipmunk, squirrel, and other rodents, commonly referred to as pest control. There are no natural predators in urban environments, or very few, uh, resulting in overpopulation, disease, and property damage. It's why I genuinely reacted this way when seeing nature self-regulate. It's just not a normal thing. So that's a raccoon. That is an owl right there. That owl is gonna, he's going for him. Holy sh We just had a storm roll through, so forgive the leaves everywhere, but here's my front walkway. Looks normal, right? Until you come over here. Look at all these bricks that have sunk. You can thank Alvin and his buddies for that one. We're in my courtyard now, same story. I've already spent thousands of dollars repairing this, and every spring it ends up like this. Thanks, Theodore. In this video, we're really focused on the squirrels. So, here's a hole they made in my house to get access to the attic. Really cute, huh? Here's an outdoor couch they thought looked super tasty. Ah, thanks guys. So, what do I do? I create a safe place to bring them down from wherever they are, I put some peanuts out, and I snipe. So with that, we come full circle. Context, it's important. Now, let's dive in and check out some footage of me doing what you clicked on this video to see. I set up this bird's eye camera here to capture kind of pass-throughs and just an overall different perspective. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like this angle. Sometimes you push a shot just a little bit like that first one. So the Leshy 2 double tap actually comes in handy on this one. I'm swapping out this March 80X scope that I'm using here for their 60X here soon, but first I actually need to get to the farm and use this for its exact purpose, some super long range stuff. So I'm laughing because uh, I keep saying I'm going to the farm, but man, work has just been killing me the past few weeks and I just haven't been able to get up there. Uh, I do have some fun stuff planned 
and uh, I'll just tell you, it won't all be air guns. So stay tuned for that, and hopefully this week I can sneak up there and start to film. It's going to take a few uh, a few trips to get everything done that I want to. I must have left all the spare mags upstairs, so I quickly had to reload. Uh, while it's certainly easy to just pop a second mag in, even if I had them right next to me, I typically just reload an empty mag while it's in the gun, especially when shooting from a bench like this. The Leshy 2 is essentially a revolver, so perhaps that's where the habit comes from. Either way, I gotta do it really fast because the squirrels are everywhere. Ah, shoot. I should have sent it. Ah, you know what? He'll be back. While we wait, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, the Ridge Wallet, and they're having a huge Father's Day sale. This thing is so si Oh, wait. Hold on one second. It's coming back down. Hold on one second. So I guess this little tree rat thought I was distracted doing a promo for this awesome wallet. Eh, rookie mistake. So I got the new 350 millimeter Leshy 2 out in the Hornet configuration. And I got this thing set up for the farm, which means one thing. This thing is ripping. But more on that in just a minute. I think that shot actually probably spooked the squirrels a bit. So uh, let's wait for them to come down from the trees. And while we're waiting, let me take a quick second to finish thanking today's video sponsor, the Ridge Wallet. This guy ticks all of the boxes for me. It's super small and fits everything I need. I've owned a carbon fiber one for three to four years now, and I've only retired it because they sent this amazing black Damascus one. It's a front pocket minimalist wallet. Uh, you can fit up to 12 cards plus room for cash on the outside using either the money clip or strap options. I kind of prefer the money clip, but both options are there for you. Uh, they have a huge Father's Day sale going on. There's something like 30 different choices in colors and metal materials. So these are the perfect gift for Father's Day. And I know there's a lot of fathers watching this. So go ahead and share this video with your wife. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you use my code EGGUNLESHY, you'll get 50% off of your order as well. So I'll drop a link in the description and the pinned comment. By the way, these things are super tough too. And before we get back to the squirrels, Let's see how tough they are. I wonder if I could stop a 25 cal Leshy 2 with my old one. Oh man, that looked like it survived. To be honest, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but those RFID inserts are essentially, they look like, like kind of quarter inch steel. So uh, they'll stop losers from stealing your credit card information and it appears good enough to stop a 25 cal pellet 2. Bet your wallet can't do that. All right, enough fun. Thanks again to the Ridge Wall for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to a little squirrel pew pew. When I'm shooting in the backyard, I really turn the Leshy 2 down, especially in 7.62. It's easy to do, uh, it's just a quick turn of the Reaper reg, up or down, uh, even when you're under full pressure, which is totally unique to this platform. I was absolutely stacking them on this day, and there's no chance to retrieve them in between shots. It's always interesting to me to see how they react and interact with a dead homie on the ground. So I slowed this one down, as I mentioned before, to a, with a 50 grain pellet to about 650 feet per second. That's still a ton of power, but it definitely gives them an extra kind of millisecond to react. Same result though, and a hell of a lot more quiet and safe. I've been switching things up a bit, using the different March optics that I have and caliber. So this one was in 22, the next one is in 25, shooting polymags, which I haven't shot in a while. Uh, it's been fun shooting all these guys, but honestly, I look forward to giving you guys a chance to shoot them with this big giveaway I'm doing. So if you're not in it yet, make sure to click that link in the description. We're gonna wrap up today's video with this real-time shot. So thanks again to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out their Father's Day special and use that discount code at Gunleshy for an additional 15% off.